What is happening, guys? Welcome back. Today, we're in the Speed 6, leaving off from last episode where we opened up our factory ECU and saw a bunch of corrosion. Right now, we just plugged in the new ECU with another uh, all-wheel drive control module, and we have a program that we were told about by somebody called Forescan, and it actually um, can read Mazda Ford Mercury vehicles. All you need is a uh, OBD2 plug reader with a can switch on it uh, that you can find on Amazon. I'll tell you guys about that later on. Um, but we're uh, going to dive in here and try to figure out how to start reprogramming the car. This is going to be essential because I won't have to take the car to Mazda to get reprogrammed. And I'm going to let you guys in on all the secrets. So stay tuned. All right, so I got my man Corey in the car. So this is the module I was telling you about. It's kind of hard to see because it's dark out right now. There we go. Just a USB or USB module that hooks into the uh, OBD2. It's got like a little switch on it. Uh, pretty cool. A little simple thing. It's like 30 bucks on Amazon. Just plugs in the computer. And then we're actually running a program called Forescan. And uh, sounds like Forescan. 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 Uh, so basically it communicates with the vehicle. We are actually messing with the old ECU. And you can literally see everything that the car does to communicate with itself. I mean, we were, <laughs> we were just messing with stuff. You can actually change options in the car a little bit. And uh, it's pretty interesting. I wanna mess with it a little bit more to see what you can you know, do or see with these cars. There's a lot of stuff you can actually data log with the car to see what it's doing. So okay, you, got, you got two keys? Yeah, both keys are in it. Where's the... Right there and then right here. Okay, awesome. I just need to make sure because it's... It's got to have two keys. It says, yeah, it says the vehicle won't start until two keys have been learned. So two keys are available. Very good. Security access granted. All right. All no keys have been erased. Wait 10 seconds. Okay, so you got to turn the ignition off. Okay. Wait 10 seconds. And once you have that, you're going to want to turn it to run position for at least three seconds, which is, not, I mean, not run, run, but one more. Okay. So we got to wait. Okay. All right, guys, so in order for us to program the new ECU, we need two physical keys to be able to program it. Now, what does that mean? The credit card keys that we have for the car right now, we only have one of the keys in it that are cut to the car. Um, both of them have transponder chips in them, I believe, um, but one of them is a blank key that's not cut to the ignition. So we're on our way to Mazda right now. We're gonna get the other key cut and then hopefully be able to come back to the house and you know fully reprogram two keys to the car and uh you know hopefully start moving forward trying to get this thing up and running we're here fun fact this is the only mazda in the area that is a certified mazda speed dealer so that's pretty cool i wonder if they'll let me drift a miata the parking lot that'd be dope <laughs> hey while we're at it hey while i'm here can i just send this thing to fight corona <laughs> <laughs> two five turbo isn't it no it well it's a two five i think someone was telling me that you can get like the threes with the like with the all-wheel drive and then like i'm there might be a way to option it from the like a custom build to do it if you will to do oh. like a turbo engine in the car i don't know if they can do that but that'd be sick but we're just looking at this mx5 I really do like the way they designed them, and I do like the the hard top ish, the hard top, you know, convertible. It's got I mean, just being up, but I mean, it's sleek. Yeah, super okay. nice. But yeah, pretty sick. I don't know. Never, I haven't driven a Miata since probably I don't know a long time, but it was an older one. Yeah, I'm sure they're pretty sweet, but. They go for like, this one is optioned at like 36,000. I don't know if I'd do all that for a Miata, but definitely cool. They've come a long way for sure. 
All right, so we got the ECU in and we fiddled with it for a little bit. We got the ECU programmed to the car, got all the keys synced and everything. Keys, yep. And nothing. 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 So kind of a bummer, um, but we have been working. Like I said, I, I suck in times like this in the fact of like picking up the camera when we're doing stuff because um, you just get so, you know, involved in what you're doing. But we have like gone and rechecked over everything and one thing that i did find that i was not sure or positive on was the crank position sensor i have done it about three times and i think every single one of the times i had missed a step so what i did is i pulled the valve cover off i put the crank uh at top dead center with cylinder one uh verified that put the uh the stop bolt on the back side of the crank on the block and the uh actual pin inside the crank the m6 bolt right there and then got the crank sensor lined up with the 20th tooth dead center because i think i forgot to put the the bolt the m6 bolt in the crank pulley and when i did that i looked at the crank position sensor and it was actually almost off of the tooth so these cars are very finicky. If you don't have it directly on the center, it could cause a lot of issues and cause the car not to start at all, which is the issue that we're having. Not saying this is going to be it, but, uh, you know, we, we don't know until we try. So we're getting everything back together right now. And, uh, yeah, found a couple faults in some wiring that uh, I fixed. But, yeah, we'll give this a go. And if not, I, we're back to square one and we're still going to keep digging. So... We're going to get some of the rest of the stuff put back together, and we will catch you guys soon. Here we go. starting to crank again and we noticed like uh how it's been doing that ha, 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 ha. well now it's getting like every few revelation revolutions it's doing like a ha, 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 ha. so it like almost sounds like it wants to kick but it's like a half step it's off. like a half step off we're just gonna keep trying a couple things and hopefully we can get it for you guys fucking does start It feels like it's almost there, man. Well, guys, I feel like we're getting close because I, I've never heard it try to kick like that a couple times, and we're getting more pops and you know, verbal backfires in the exhaust uh, every couple cranks. But I will tell you that I don't know if you could see in the video, we were seeing a little bit of smoke coming from like the catch cans and stuff. Um, well, I just drained the oil. And it smelled a lot like fuel. Like it, it reeked of a lot of fuel. And so I drained the catch cans because our catch can breathers were like smoking while we were cranking. The first thing that came out was straight fuel. Like pissing clear fuel. And then a bunch of the other milky crap that usually comes out of the PCV side of the, the catch can. Um, yeah, so is it possible that the crankcase was... An issue I don't I don't know we gotta investigate more tomorrow but today was kind of promising because I've never heard it try to kick over at all so um, 
I, I think we're getting we're getting there. Uh, I'm gonna get new fluid tomorrow, new oil, and drain the other catch can and put the new filter on and all that stuff, and see if we can let it go. I'm letting the drain plug on the bottom of the motor stay out all night, um, letting the fumes and everything from inside just escape overnight, and see what happens. Uh, we're gonna end this one off here. Hopefully, we have something that we're onto. Uh, if you guys have any more stuff, drop down below in the comments. I will not stop fighting this car until it's running. So uh, give me a thumbs up, like this video, uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Give me some words of encouragement in the comments. We gotta keep fighting, boys. But until next time, guys, we will see you later. Peace.